Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm here with Mikey Stats, and this is episode four of Tuned Into the Culture. I know it's been a while, we've been on a little hiatus, but life been getting a little hectic. Yeah, there's been a whole lot of stuff going on, but people, back in this bitch. Yeah, people filing their taxes, price of gas going up, Taking so much advancement exams. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Let's go ahead and start off with the first topic. Lead the way of young blood. Uh, shit, let me think. Let's start off with a uh, Jay Z uh, net worth getting raised to what two point five billion now. Two point five billion <laughs> billion. You know how many zeros? Look, if you have one million, right, you have six zeros. Yeah. If you have a billion, you have nine. That's insane. I can't even imagine how much you could literally spend a million dollars a hundred a hundred like how many times over five hundred times and you still have so much money left over. That's so crazy, bro. I mean, but Jay Z put in the work, man. You got to give him his all due respect. That man courted a billboard, the top rapper of all time, greatest rapper of all time. He had the most Grammy wins for a rapper, and he's the wealthiest rapper. And his wife's Beyonce. And you got to remember the other stuff that they, when they do the, uh, the Forbes list, yeah. they count your assets too. And he owns a bunch of uh, Jean Basquiat's work. And yeah. Basquiat's work is worth millions. Yeah. See, I remember that one time he said I bought a million dollar art piece and I, and I turned it to two mil. Yeah. That's a lot. When he says he's not a businessman, he's a businessman. That nigga that's, means that shit. That's a hard. That's a freak. So, shout out to Hov, man. You know, he's, he's going to go down as one of the greatest, man. Kanye Con- West could have been up there too, man, but he been on the, he been on that weird stuff, man. We're going to get to him in a sec, too. Yeah, speaking I mean, of Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> Kanye pull, pull up the exact thing that he said, right? So he posted a picture of him, of a screenshot of the movie poster for 21 Jump Street with Jonah Hill and uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Ch- Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, yeah. 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 And read, read what he said, bro. So Kanye said, and I quote, start quote, watching Jonah Hill and 21 Jump Street made me like Jewish people again. No one should take anger against one or two individuals and transform that into hatred towards millions of innocent people. No Christian can be labeled anti-Semitic knowing Jesus is Jew. Thank you, Jonah Hill. I love you. <laughs> and honestly, I get what he's saying, but it's just so funny because, like, the whole thing that started is before, like, kind of getting canceled is that he said that, I'm going to quote this, he said, the Jewish overlords don't want you, that pay Charlemagne the God and all these people, they don't want me to say this. And because he called them overlords and saying that they run the culture, and they do, there's a lot of the richest people in uh, entertainment are Jewish yeah. people. They're directors and executives their own and run all of these uh, podcasts, entertainment and movie and movie uh, like the, the cinematic industry, right? Yeah. So like in that regard, yeah, but it was just like the way he said it, the tone, it was just, it just wasn't looking good for your boy, Mr. West. I don't know what's up with him, man. Like, that dude got married in two months to some Kim K wannabe. He's posting this. I, like, he just needs help. I don't know what's... I feel like he probably about to drop an album soon because he's been high. Uh, he, he, listen, listen, though. He's been on a hiatus for a while, and then out of nowhere, he comes back posting that shit. Like, and he, he, he knows it draws attention. He wants people to be in tune with him because he knows he's up to something, bro. Kanye, he, he may come off like he's an idiot, but he's really smart, man. And he hasn't dropped Donda 2 yet. There's yeah, a, there's he did a, drop Donda 2, the bootleg version. Yeah, so... On the same player only, so, though. Yeah, so Donda 2 dropped, but it didn't drop on official platforms like Tidal or Apple Music or Spotify. You got to get a specific thing. I have it. Yeah, me know. too. I like, <laughs> he, got, he got this song with uh, Exodus Tentacion. It's hard. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Speaking of that, his killers are found guilty. Good job, those scumbags. I hope they serve life in prison. Yeah. They did my man's dirty. He ain't deserve that. X was going to be a superstar. Him, people like him, Juice World, stuff like that. So they got found guilty, which we all knew that was coming. But I just don't know why it took five did. years for this case to roll out. It was because of COVID. Yeah, but literally, him get him dying on he was literally bleeding out of his eye. Like the part that really bothered me when they did the whole trial, one of his fans was like, "Yeah, man, I recorded because it's like the closest way I'll ever be to X." I'm like, "Bro, you, you recorded someone dying, bro. That's weird." And, and he's, he's a celebrity, man. Weird. People were you it see when take off P and B rock. Name it's, a rapper, Nipsey Hussle, all the rappers, God rest their souls, when they all die, people people videotape them not giving no fucks for life, they just want to get likes on Twitter and Instead of calling out Instagram like, and crazy. TikTok, so you know, that's yeah. just the way of the world. Man. That's disgusting, like someone really bleeding out and they just, instead of being like, let me call now on you, hold on, let me get my views up. What? Are you, you're weird, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy, but I'm glad he got justice, rest in peace to him, hope those killers get life with a death penalty. Yeah, I think it's they like, deserve son, suffering like, uh, Son's like three or four now. Yeah. Yeah, his son's four because I saw that his uh, 
the mother of his child posted that it'll never bring him back, but she can have a little bit more peace knowing that the killers are brought to justice. Yeah. So I'm glad that she getting a little closure off that, yeah. even though it took this long. But you know how the justice system is, it's, it's pretty messy. Uh, what else we got to talk about? So, John Moran's back yeah, he from his suspension. And then he, uh, I don't know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me. You lucky, John. I was about to go in on your ass, but we had a little hiatus, so I'm not going to go in on you like I wanted to, but you an idiot for posting that gun on the fucking uh, Instagram, Instagram and all that other buffoonery you was doing, but don't fuck up again, because they're going to fucking get your ass the fuck out of it. They're going to get him out of yeah, there. He, he saw what he did to Gilbert Arenas. Yeah, Gilbert Arenas, Gilbert Arenas got the fuck out of there. His whole career ended because he had a, a locker full of guns, ARs, pistols. Because he, <laughs> he was gambling with people on the team and outside. So I'm like, come on, bro. Like, that's what could have happened to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't get his gambling addiction fixed. Yeah. He could have been on the same stuff. Yeah. But Nike was like, hey, man, you better chill out. We got a lot of money behind you. So yeah. he had to tighten up. And that's the problem. You got to remember that once you become a, a certain level of star or a celebrity, you need to stop doing all the stuff that you used to do before you got rich. Because now, or the spotlight is on you. Or at least not get caught when you're doing it. Yeah. Like, these motherfuckers got to be smarter than that. Why would he go on Instagram and flash a gun knowing he's Ja Morant and that's going to cause attention? The problem with like, today's generation... And but he is a young buck, though. Yeah, like, he's 23. He got that young man mentality. But that's not even the point. The point is, the problem with most people on social media, they're, they're so used to putting a camera on anytime they do something. And that's why people are getting caught up. People, it's either them putting the camera on one of their homeboys put the camera on. And like Shannon Sharp said, he said, you're not built like that. You're not from the, he might have grown up in like a bad area, but he's not there no more. Yeah. He's like worth 100 million. You shouldn't be doing that. Granted, it's okay for you to have a gun, but if a gun is in self-defense, why are you flexing it? The only time people should see your gun is when you're using it to protect yourself. Hey man, he want to be flash. He listens to too much NBA young boy. That's his fucking problem. He in the wrong. He think he in the wrong NBA. You're not with young boy. You're not with control, nigga. You in the NBA, bro. Stop listen. Stop taking these fucking young boy lyrics seriously. That's what's wrong with his ass. But did you see? Hopefully he don't fuck up again. Did you see when he uh, came back? His comeback game when he won with the Grizzlies. He started he doing he, he, gritty. Yeah, he gritty at the end. But no, I, don't, I don't care about the gritty. Bro. I'm talking about like his daughter was quoting uh, he's like, he's yeah, like, young boy. I know, young boy. Parade in my city. That's on fire. I ain't gonna lie in my city yeah anyway <laughs> I, I would say the main point of this whole this part of the conversation is that if you if you make if you become successful stop doing things that you didn't you, that you before you became successful right all the things you used to be you gotta cut all that out you are now a successful person continue pushing forward and do things that add on to your growth and to whatever business or thing you're trying to promote you're an MBA Sick to stuff that has to do with basketball, and he's gonna only talk out a deal with power rate. Yeah, and any topper didn't even do nothing. Yeah, he's got he's like, gonna use a song. He's got hit with a crossfire because yeah. this nigga wanna have little baby guns and Instagram live and shoot late point lasers at people at the arena and shit. And he got a kid and a girl, and like they posted the, the video clips of him at the strip club. I was like, not ever do it to him. That was too much personal. For me. Yeah, but person at the strip club, you shouldn't be recording regardless. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, but stay your ass out of trouble, nigga. Yeah, you need a. You can, you can really get a ring, bro, but you out here playing games. So the only thing we need to play is on the court. You know, <laughs> Facts. Or a 2K in the house. Facts. Facts. If you want to flash your gun, get on GTA. Don't be doing all that wild boy stuff. This is kind of off subject, but uh, you seen BMF the last episode. Oh, no, I'm, I'm behind. I'm on like episode four. Damn. The last thing the season, I watched the whole thing. The season ended. It's we'll cool. talk about that later, Then I was wondering if you... Uh, hey, free Big Beach, man. That, man. that man paved the way so his whole family eat for... Even though he went down... He made sure that his family always had money. Fast. Also, shout out 50 Cent, too, because 50 Cent literally created the vision so that way all his story could be you brought him up. Good transition. I see what you did. Yeah. Speaking of 50 Cent, we got to talk about it. I know y'all, I mean, I know y'all been tuned in with the culture. Hopefully, y'all are like we are, but I know we've been hearing a lot of this 50 Cent versus Lil Wayne versus nonsense. Let me just say this one. 50 Cent will get washed by Lil Wayne in the verses. He got oh, one. Oh. He got one classic album. Yes, Get Rich or Die Trying is a classic. Ten times platinum. His second Ten. album, The Massacre, is got some hits as a classic too. But Curtis is straight too. Curtis won gold. That shit was Curtis. Mid. It was no. I'm about to say it won gold on my like first week because it sold 675 thousand. Yeah. Gold was me. Nobody yeah. listens to that. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> knows but, 50 Cent from Any Man in the Club and Candy Shop. Let me tell you something about Lil Wayne for a second. I grew up on Lil Wayne. I grew up on 50 too. My high school, shout out Tab High School. If some of y'all alumni are watching this, y'all know how the school was. Seven five seven. <laughs> school was full of nothing but majority white people, and I love white people. But what I'm saying is, in school, I know some white people in there were like, I don't even listen to rap, but I listen to Lil Wayne. What? 
You don't listen to rap, but you just listen to Lil Wayne. People were quoting his fucking lyrics on MySpace. He had the game on the lock. Also, story that I should tell you. Me and my two best friends, Roger and Daniel, shout out to y'all. We uh, made some copies of the Carter 3 before it came out. And we sold it at school for $5 a pop. And we had, <laughs> to, we, <laughs> we had the school on lock when that Carter 3 came out. Let me tell you, everybody was buying that shit. And they know what I'm talking about when they see this. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. That's how Lil Wayne was in high school, bro. 50 said it never had a lot. He had the club jumping with in the club. People was messing with him because he was an Eminem protege, Dr. Dre protege. But yeah, he got shot like seven times. Yeah. Ten times. But other than that, that, he ain't had a game in a chokehold like Wayne did. Lil so Wayne. for anybody to think that 50 can beat Wayne in the verses, one, you don't know hip hop. Two, you're an idiot. Three, you need. He's you not watching him bar for bar. Like, that's. He, it's not even about the bars. It's just about the longevity and the songs and the features and the mixtapes. All that combined. 50 only really has two albums, really, that are meaningful and some stuff he did with G-Unit. That's it. After that, no. Oh, yeah, we, right now, we love 50 for the TV show that he's executive producing Power and BMF. Great. He, just, he, he pulled a Jay-Z, right? He transitioned out of rap because, you know, you can't be hot and rap forever. Unless you Drake, because Drake did it again for like two Exactly, years. unless you Drake. Y'all hear what he said. But even Drake know that he's going to retire one day. But the point is, not everybody can be on the Billboard Top 100 for over 10 years. That's <laughs> unless you're Drake. Unless you Drake. <laughs> Drizzy. Billboard Drizzy. <laughs> but check this out, right? Lil Wayne from 2007 to 2010, anytime he got on the feature, right? He literally owned the song. They were like, that's the feature, song. remix, Mixed freestyles. He was anything. That on. was his. Bro, he turned right. your song to his. We touched upon this on the uh, the top 50 most influential rappers on the Billboard, but when he hops on a song, on an instrumental, that's his now. Facts. So, I hate to break it to you, but that, that's Weezy a Baby song, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. He just when he's on a feature, a remix, freestyle, feature, remix, freestyle, his song, bro. And you can't forget the era when he was making songs with T Pain, when they had. Uh, T Wayne, get, yeah, when they had uh, Get Money or was it Get Money? Got, got money, money, got and then money. they had a song. I can't uh, believe Chop it. Chopping Screw. Co- I can't believe it. Yeah, Chopping uh, Screw was with Ludacris. Oh yeah, bro. oh yeah, you're right. I can't believe it. That's what. Oh, I can't believe it. That's what it was. Yeah. Wow. And they, they was in the bank and it was like Get Money. You know it. Ah. Oh, that shit was a hit. That had that had that was jumping in high school. I think that came out my senior junior year. I was like I was like in elementary school and I still know that song. That's crazy. That's how you know like as a kid your parents say you're not supposed to listen to it. That's why everybody listens because the music that good, bro. Like, yeah. you might not even be able to relate to it, but the music. Goes so, I say this: Wayne is kind of like Eminem, Kanye, Drake. They transcend hip hop. Like, it's not just the typical people that listen to hip hop that listen to them. There's people. There's older white white guys, younger white girls, older Hispanic, younger Hispanic, Filipinos, Amazing. Mexicans. They transcend hip hop. They make it more than just hip hop. And Wayne is that type of artist where. He reached all type of levels. His album sold 1.5 million. Even though Get Rich or Not Trying sold 1.2 million too when it first came out. Also, they both over went time, platinum. Over time it went 10 times platinum. Yeah. But that just shows you that. And this was back when there was no fucking streaming services. This is all people just buying. This was CDs, yes. MP3s. And his album got, the Carter 3 got leaked a week earlier. That's how me and my two best friends, shout out to Roger and Daniel again. That's how we was able to, you know, make the uh, make the little uh, bootleg copies, and his shit still sold, and his shit leaked. So it's like when you have that much longevity and that much reach, bro, you you already know what time it is when it comes to his music catalog. Yeah. So Fifty Cent. So in summary, Fifty Cent got hits, but Lil Wayne just has more impact, better bars. More relatability, and he's skateboard, bro. And the culture, he's part of the culture, change the culture. Like, mm-hmm. Wayne is like, he definitely top five yeah. greatest rappers Lil Wayne even birth, Lil Wayne even birth rappers like Young Thug. He birthed mumble rap. Without yeah. Lil Wayne, there would be no future, no Young Thug. And he got Drake and Nicki under his belt. Any rapper with a face tattoo does not exist without Lil Wayne. He got Drake and Nicki under his belt. Are you the top, the top female rapper of all time and one of the greatest artists of all time? Right. Slash rapper like Drake, Drake the transition into the Afrobeat slave, the UK drill rap, regular rap, yeah. R&B. Yeah, bro. And then he even got into like the, the Mexican music, bro. Yeah, man, really. They, they said that he, uh, he, what is it? They said that he's a Canadian bad bunny because he, 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 he he's transcending different genres. That's he's a global it. superstar. That's why I get tired of y'all disrespecting my nigga Drizzy, man. I got a few cousins. I ain't gonna say their names, but they know who they are. They be in my DMs. Uh, Doran and Trey, y'all be saying that my nigga ain't the goat. Y'all know I, I, he the I, goat. I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna say no things in the drafting right after. They yeah, know he the goat, though. Bro. But shout out to Wayne, bro. 
Shout out to 50 too. 50 doing this big stuff in the uh, TV stuff. Yeah. Wayne don't got him on that. I'll say that. 50 got him beat when it comes to all the business ventures. Yeah. He got him what? He got BMF, Power. He's doing some other stuff. Lil so, Wayne also still part of his catalog too. He did? He did. I was kind of shocked. I didn't like, hear that. I didn't see that. You, we'll talk about that on a different, but he's still part of his catalog. So did Future. Future sold a lot of his old song up from like 2008 up to like 2020. Because yeah. he was in a different record label. Yeah, he, he got the rights to the song to be sold. I feel like if you sell, if your catalog is worth selling, that means you can make more money over time. That's why they're buying it. So yeah. as an artist, you should own your music and keep making it so that way, even when you stop rapping, because yeah. most of these rappers will, your kids and your family can live off the royalties. Yeah, Not that your kids and family should live off you forever, but you have the ability to change the, the next generation of people in your family's lives forever. Yeah. So always own, if you're an up and coming artist, always own the masters to your song. So facts. Don't don't go get a 360 deal. Don't be like what's his name, Blueface. Who was signed? Trash. He was signed to Cash Money, Cash Money West, and under another distribution deal, he was basically yeah. his money was going like four different ways before he even got ten percent of it. Yeah. You don't want that. You want to own your rights to you. Speaking of gold rappers, before we change subjects, it's the uh, 26th anniversary of my nigga Biggie's uh, Life After Death classic, nigga. I know it's too. That's above before your time. Oh, yeah, though, it's before but, time. He know more about that than me. I only know. But, about uh, Life after death, y'all go support my nigga Biggie. Rest in peace, bro. One of the greatest of all time himself. Shifted music in New York for sure. Yeah, he did. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all I got on that. Now we gotta talk about the good stuff. Six nine. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know all, all the street, all the street dudes, and all the rappers. They've been they've been praying on this. They've been waiting. They've been like, God, please. You, they, you ever seen that movie Spider Man Three? Yeah. When uh, Eddie Brock was praying for Peter Parker yeah. to die, they they were like, God, please, I beg you. Whatever you do, I don't care what you do today, but just let six nine die. I'm, I'm, I'm praying on his downfall, and I, even though I don't like him personally, I'll never pray for another man to die. You know what I'm saying? Like that's weird. Yeah, six uh, nine. However, he does. He instigates a lot of the stuff. So when he gets hurt, it's like it. only his fault to blame. He instigates a lot. So let me uh, let me let's take a deep dive into this. One six nine, you had it coming. You swear you couldn't get touched, and you finally got touched. Two. You tell people to suck your D, doing all this stuff. You disrespect Nipsey's moral. You disrespect King Kong, dead rappers. That mm-hmm. you just you can't like, do stuff like that. Dude. Someone not, people not gonna people you're not slides, you're not man. untouchable, my guy. Like you a celebrity, you a rapper, yeah, but you still can get touched. You see what happened to all these other rappers that wasn't beefing with people that were minding their business and got killed, and you got you beefing with the whole rap industry, civilians snitching. Like he was getting, come on, bro. He was getting beat even before he got arrested. Like he yeah. literally got. Kidnapped and jumped by yeah. him. Cause the people that were in the game with him, Trey, what is it, Trey Nine Bloods? Yeah. They jumped him before he even got indicted and got uh he started testifying. So just off of that, you should just know that you shouldn't yeah. be you shouldn't be letting people have a reason to be more angry at you. Just live in your little mansion and have your security around you and live your life. Because yeah. you'll never be he can't do what we do. He can, I can go to Walmart right now. No one's gonna run about me with a camera and be like, hey man, run the fade right now. Like, yeah. You know why? Because I'm not I'm not involving myself in dumb stuff. I'm not getting in the streets. No, I don't have to be. Your name is Daniel Hernandez. Like, t- the Terrence, he said, and his real name is Terrence. And Terrence got some good Come on, hey, Ma. Yeah. So, but, uh, you, you used to be a good kid. You, you never grew up in the streets. You never had to. So, that whole persona, and we know it's fake that you testify that, yeah. you, that you did not about that life. Yeah. You paid to be a part of the game. What thing That's about him, crazy. you know what they said, TMZ? They said, uh, He's not gonna. He's still not gonna. He said they said he's been running with no security for like the last year and a half, for real. Then they said that he doesn't plan on getting security. He's stupid, for bro. Him. You're you're a walking time bomb. My even guy. even like, rappers that are street rappers, they smart. Most of them are smart enough to get security. Whether it be a Drake was around security. Everybody loved Drake. He don't need security. People exactly. love that man. Even Kanye like, not running around with security. He's not even a rapper. Because <laughs> he will see people. Can, the moment you're a celebrity, people can find out how much you're worth. And now a person that's jealous or hating or wants what you have. Now she's got something that they can take. And yeah. some people, instead of taking your money, they want to do both. They want to take your money. And he already money. got a he got a fucking uh, thing on his back because he snitched. So people want their get back. And not so only like, that, the man has the same hair color. Everyone knows what he looks like. He can wear <laughs> all the hats he wants, but he has like all these face tattoos on his face. He's got a tattoo on his beard, bro. You can't walk outside and people and not recognize you. You can't be like you can't be like J. Cole and blend into the crowd and like a regular person. You got too many tattoos. You yeah. literally making you more visible than you yeah. want to. He has to wear a whole Nike uh, tech suit. He suited up. Everybody suit knows around. his face, though. So he got 6 9 tat on his head. Who else has that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you want to be. You he, want he, people he, to know he, the he fuck is, you is, His whole persona is begging for attention. 
Yeah, it is, bro. And that's why he'll never be able to find a, a, a true wife. Because everybody is in it for the money, bro. That's why he got his ass up. You see what his baby mom said for his first daughter? She said, yeah, he's an, he embarrassed her family getting his ass beat. I said, yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> Me personally, I just wouldn't let myself be involved in situations like this. That's why we, we laugh at people that put themselves in the streets for no reason. People that had to be in the streets if they had no choice because they were trying to feed their family. 6 9 didn't have that. He wasn't like, he might not be rich, but he definitely yeah. wasn't like struggling. And uh, what else happened? Um, what happened with that? Uh, oh yeah, don't forget, Lance Reddick just passed away. Rest in peace, my guy. Who? From, from the Wire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's also one of John Wick. Rest in peace, Lance Reddick. Great actor. Man, literally was part of the culture for real. Cause like the Wire is one of the biggest things ever to ever happen. I never really watched the Wire, but I always heard good stuff about it. Yeah. So the Wire. It and I heard Disney. he was part of Destiny too. The game. Yeah. Yeah. He had a voice. He was a voiceover in that. So the cool thing about Lance Reddick is that the the Wire. It literally talks about the drug, the drug uh, game in Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but up even before 2014, when they had the highest amount of murders, the the amount of uh, people selling crack in, in the city and how like the city was falling apart yeah. was highlighted in the TV show The Wire. So that's why it brought a lot of attention to that. So I'm from Maryland, right? So anybody from the DMV, people will ask you, people anytime they find you from Maryland, they say, "Oh, you from Baltimore, huh?" I'm like, "No, I'm, I'm from I'm from this, I'm from like a small town." Cause no one, the people that are from Baltimore don't claim it, but Baltimore is a good place in certain areas. But for the most part, it's a dangerous city. It's like worse than Chicago at times. Yeah, so, nah, I know some people from out there. I've been out there before. I had to go to a family Dickens family reunion like five years ago. I used to work out there, so like I, it, I looked, looked, like, it looked a little rough, but we were just at this park. But yeah. Yeah. I was going to uh, MSU, Morgan State University, to go hang out with some people. I was doing like some videos over there. And like I'm driving, I look to the side, see a dude doing crack on the side in broad daylight. I'm talking about it's like it's like uh, 12 p.m. Yeah. The sun's still out, people are going to work. This man got a crack pipe and he's just hitting it. And I'm just like, wow, this is really the city of fiends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. what, what else? What else? What else we gotta talk about? Oh yeah, Bel Air is on. Let me fly episode, up. Bel Air is on episode five of uh, season two, and it's getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like Jabari Banks, uh, Ali Sholo, Coco Jones. That's hey, shout out to Coco Jones. We love you. <laughs> she she a real one. She was in that uh, movie Let It Shine. She was uh, the what's her? She was the girl that was the main character. I got some. Why they get mad when Logic says the N word? Ain't he had blood? Yeah, but <laughs> so okay. Check this out. Let me let me break this down for you. Right, a lot of people don't like Logic. He's a great rapper. I don't know if yeah. you ever heard his uh, mixtapes. Uh, Young Sinatra, one through three. I heard him. I heard him. And his his best album, Under Pressure. Yeah, he's from Maryland, so I got to represent him all the time. Logic as a rapper is great. The reason why a lot of people don't like it, they find him corny because he has to bring up the fact that he's biracial a lot in a lot of music, and a lot of people are not a fan of that. But when I listen to his music, you don't really talk about it as often. It'll be just be random songs that bring it up. But it's important to tell the story because since he grew up in uh, he grew up in like a terrible part of Maryland, he grew up in uh, Gettysburg, in Section 8 housing, right? His dad was black, and his, his own brother was selling crack to his dad, right? I know, it's, that's why you got us under pressure in the previous mixtape. So the re- this is important because it's like people think that he, he just had a great life, but boy was really going through it. He he didn't even graduate high school. He had to go back like after he became a rapper, he had his GED. Boy was really going through it. But I, I said all this to say that because of what he looks like, he looks white. He has like mixed people hair, where like his hair is really curly. But if you see his face, 99 percent of the time you're gonna be like, oh, he's white. Yeah. So like he doesn't really say the N word in most music. Like I, I heard him saying a song. Where like he was on the plane, he said white he said white lady looking at him, like who are these niggas? Because they had first class and he was taking time and that was like first I heard him say he don't really drop the N word like that and saw him. He can't say it. You saw the video though? Yeah, because he posted a video with him and his dad telling yeah. people that this is my dad and people don't think I'm black. Yeah. And people were like, Oh, you're just you're just But you know what's so attention. crazy? J. Cole and Drake are biracial, but nobody questions them when they say the N word. Yeah. Like nobody I guess cause the way they say it, like J. Cole's pretty much But like, also Drake Jay, Drake looked black, he had waves. He got braids right now. Like I say, J Cole is more black than Drake. Yeah. J Cole had a whole afro. But J, J Cole's and demeanor. J Cole's demeanor is like a nigga. So like nobody's gonna question him. Oh, he's, he's, he awesome. he's awesome. He's from he Fayetteville. He's from yeah. the Carolinas. The way he carries him out, the way he raps, you know, J Cole, he got the pass. Drake is Drake. That that man has a pass. Do whatever he wants. But yeah, we know he had black too. So yeah, Drake Drake don't protect because he's, he's black and he he had Jewish. I know. <laughs> Anyone say anything bad about you? He said, "Water's crazy." You sound a little anti-Semitic over there. And they're like, "Interesting." Speaking of anti-Semitic, Kanye. <laughs> we already talked about him. Yeah. That boy. He a, he a comedian. I mean, I'm still listening to new music because I I have 
I think there's only one album by Kanye I don't really like that much. It yeah. would probably be uh, I didn't like Jesus that much. Only, that like, shit was trash. Two good songs. So I like Black Skinhead, Bound Two. Like oh. I like Home Mom. I like Bound Two. Uh, Bound Two. That's the song. Not Bound Two. No. Uh, I liked Hold My Liquor with Jesus. Oh yeah, that's a good song. And uh, the other one. Uh, what's the fucking what? I just wanted to clear my mind, right? Oh, oh Blood on the Lead. Yeah. Blood on the Lead. So I understand was that song, that that really old song. She was, remember, fuck them niggas. Yeah, when they first when they first people were so mad, they were like, You can't be sampling that song. That song is about this and I'm like, bro, it's a sample, bro. Like <laughs> you can literally sample something about sadness and you can change it and make it a positive thing because it's a sample. You're sampling for the instrumental or the story behind it. So the part that don't really matter. What's up with San Diego's weather? It's a little off topic, but it's yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, that shit I mean, obviously, been trash the last people, couple people, months. The signs have been saying for years the climate change, the the polar ice caps melting and stuff is affecting how the weather is. So, like, it's supposed to be sunny right now, but it's raining crazy. And then when the sun does come out, it's like 65 degrees for a few hours, then it starts raining again. Yeah. Same. I don't know. This weather's pretty shitty, San Diego. You like yeah, man. Down. You got to be in Florida or something. Even Florida got the hurricanes. But Cali got Cali got some earthquakes, and I do not rock with that. You can't even have a basement in California because of that. Because what? You can't have a basement in California because you can't have a foundation of land below ground because if there's an earthquake, you're, you're going to be enclosed. That's why there's no basement. There's no basement. So you'll see a house with three floors, but the third floor is built above. It's above ground. So the cool thing about being on the East Coast is that when you have a basement, it's naturally cool because it's underground. Yeah. So you're literally building the, the, there's a foundation, but it's below like the soil. So it's pretty cool. I think we covered pretty much all the important stuff. Let me yeah. look through my phone real quick. Mm-hmm. Look on academics page in the shade. Room. Yeah, sorry for the hiatus, guys. We're about to be back to posting more consistently, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna be on Discord soon. So like within this week, I think next episode we're, we're gonna get more people on it. And since we don't have like a big studio room right now, we're gonna get on Discord and we're gonna have our guests on there. And then we're gonna ask you guys to jump in live. You guys can, I mean, we won't we won't add people to like the video discussion. But you guys can be live in the chat. And yeah. react to us talking yeah. about the topics at hand. Yeah. That way we can push out more content and we can talk about more up to date topics just so you guys can see what we have going on. Yeah, uh, I gotta, uh, before we get out of here, please like, reshare, comment, tell a friend. Please, like I said early in the past episodes, the more y'all re- repost and share, the more content we give out. But I need the support, man, you know. Yeah. And don't forget, we do on, this for y'all. We're on Spotify and we're on the Anchor app. So after each episode is uh, uploaded, I go ahead and I take the audio from the podcast and I put it straight to Spotify and Anchor. So you can listen to it. If you don't feel like watching us and you're busy, you can listen to it while you work out. You can listen to it while you're on your way to work or, you know, cooking in the kitchen, doing laundry, whatever regular chores you're doing. You can just listen to us in the background. Just hear what we got going on. Like Ozzy said, we're, we're about to start having guests call in, come in getting filmed in person so we got we got a lot of things planned man we just just bear with us right now trip to la on the way so you know yeah we trying to network out there in la so we trying to make this thing we're serious about this that's so. why we, that's why we got all these mics and i got the mic for my dsl r camera my nikon d5300 and i got this so that way we can record with the phone the big camera and this guy we got that we got backups for everything so yeah we so. just more consistency is really good so go ahead like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you and if you can't do that, tell someone about it. Be like, hey, bro, I just listened to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? My boy Mike, my boy Mike Stacks, and my boy Ollie with the Sprite. You know, check yeah. them out. You know, they be, they be talking about some real stuff. Facts. So, so tune in. And as usual, thanks for tuning into the culture. We'll be next episode. Won't take too long. Sorry for the hiatus, but we back in this bitch. So we back and we back. Y'all be easy, man. Yeah. Hey, Weezy FA been epic for phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good way to cut.